Hi, I'm Chris Atto. So I've got a friend who always encourages me to dream and dream big. For after all, it was Albert Einstein that said, dreams are the gateway to the future. What would you do if you had the chance to spend a day with a true hip hop legend? Here's what I did. Check it out. What up, Ghana? It's your boy Jay Z coming out there. Tell me hey, you what's up? What's up? What's going on? I'm alright, man. All right. How, how did Sean Carter get to become Jay-Z? Wow, that's that's a big question. <laughs> I, I guess, um... You got so many fans where I'm coming from, you won't believe it. I mean, people, your music has, has touched people. They're experiencing it. That was big, that, I wish I could do it bigger, man. <laughs> Now, Jay, when I mention Africa, what comes to mind? What are your memories of Africa? Um, Do you have any? I don't have any memories because this is my first time. I'm okay. excited about it. My, the first thing you, you, the first thing that um, come to my mind would be home because that's that's really the origin of it all. Really? It's, so, it's an emotional experience. Let me ask you this: yeah. though, uh, Coming over to Ghana, have you, you know, so many uh, heavyweights down there who are just waiting to to meet you, to line with you? Have you heard any hip life, which is like the local music down from Ghana? Have you heard any? Nah. Nah. Now, nah, yeah, you should, I hope you bought me some. I did indeed. I okay, yeah, good, good, yeah, yeah. I'll this is your boy Buster Rhymes, Rhymes, live and direct. General of the Flip More Movement. We popping off officially, giving you the most undiluted, unmixed, untampered with hip hop. Don't go nowhere. I smacked you upside your head. You heard me? Stay right there. Sign Flip Mode. What's happening, people? I got the Flip Mode General in the house. Tell me what went through your mind the first few seconds as you touched down on Ghanaian soil. I was anxious, you know what I mean? Like, it just feel like carpet is being rolled out, so I appreciate everything, you know? I became Buster Rhymes, I would say somewhere around 1986, the fans, and, and everybody just enjoyed it, and it helped me get to this point. This is even an interview, they don't call you Buster Rhymes for nothing, because the last few seconds there, that was a lot of rhyming. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you thought we were gonna show you everybody, didn't you? No. This is Chris Apple. Uh, Ghana's best MC. Thank That's you. what I'm saying, Chris Apple. Yeah. When Ghana gets Ghana's best MC, what the MC? When Ghana gets Ghana's best MC, what the round of applause. All year round, these guys work. We have just tonight to basically say, well done. To help us do that, ladies and gentlemen, we decided to call on one of the top accounting firms in the world. They've been our event statisticians for a while now because they simply know what they're doing. Please help me welcome on stage from KPMG. Now when you put the two together, you get Dream Party. And that's the business that we're in. Now, can you imagine yours? Do you see it right now? Tell me, what do you imagine your dream party to be? Is it a party that's attended by very few people? Or is it an all-white party? But that's a little old, isn't it? How about a Chris Atto party underwater? Or better still, a party on an airplane? Whatever it is that your dream party may be, we make it a reality right here on My Dream Party. 